is a northwest born writer and music student elton chisi who wrote a book titled what am i doing in this world follow the excellence in this insightful read elton shares a couple of detailed aspects on how readers can begin to search for their own life's purpose how to choose the right path even when you are faced with multiple ones to choose from as well as some tools to help you in paving the path that you will ultimately have to walk for the rest of the of your life now to unpack this offering further let's welcome its writer elton chisi and he joins us now via zoom elton a very good morning to you thanks for joining us welcome to morning live Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Let's start with uh, how you went from being a music student to writing a book. Oh, well, amazingly, it well started by me write, loving, having a passion for writing. Uh, I fell in love with writing poems and changing to write lyrics. That's how I started my journey and that's led me to study music. And I think the title of the book is self-explanatory, but just break it down for us and why it's best fitting for this book. Oh, what am I doing? This is the question that most young people should ask themselves. Like, why am I born? Like, what's the main purpose for me to be on earth? And what is my role for me being born? You know, we have to all try by means to find our purpose on earth. And unleash what we have within ourselves we have different uh, gifts we have to use them and that's the reason why we are born and the book delves more on one sense of finding their purpose in life just speak to us about your own journey and whether you found your own purpose Oof. it was not an easy one uh, my journey it started when I wanted to study music and from my family, it, it was something new because of our parents, they used to one studying uh, medicine, studying engineering, accounting, those well-known careers. But for me, studying music, it was something new, which was like they were against it firstly. They were wondering what is it that I'm trying to do? Uh, and much support from them, but not that uh, I blame them, but because of they didn't understand what is music about. Because of for me, it was my passion. It was something that I fell in love with. Because yeah. of I studied music while I was still in high school. They thought it's a hobby. They think it's something that it's keeping me out of the streets, not knowing that it's something. It's my gift. It's something that will I'll one day be. And you mentioned that as human and beings, we were not born to be rich, but to follow excellence. What do you mean by this? Oh, yes. On that one, I mean, like most people, they study certain things because of they want to have money. They want to be rich, not knowing that it has to start within yourself. Uh, that's why I said follow the excellence. Success will follow you. It's because of I want you to, to follow your gift. Firstly, because of your gift, it's going to make you fortune than following money because of you won't know what you are putting yourself into and how other people are accumulating their monies. And you're going to say that the world is full of people who want to copy other people's lifestyles, forgetting about themselves, yeah? Yes. Oh, on that one, uh, it's what, what's happening on social media. So young people, they are following different people on social media, not knowing how those people, they are achieving whatever they are achieving. They want to live their certain lifestyle, and some they can't afford, and they ended up stealing so that they can be like them, not knowing that if you find within your, or, I mean, if you search within yourself, that's how uh, you're supposed to live, not living like someone else you see on social media. And perhaps one of the aspects of the book that I found interesting is where uh, you talk about the role of parents in a child's life and how the cause in which the child needs to follow. Could you elaborate more on this? On that one, uh, I would love parents to spend more, I mean, much time with their kids. That's how they get to know them because of when a child is born, a uh, mother spend much time, they breastfeed, some they breastfeed, but they mostly spend time with them. But even when they are growing old, they should be there, having uh, to see them growing, be in their journey up until they are old enough. I want the parents to spend much time so that they understand who their child are. Not uh, Because of we, our, our parents, our black parents, they believe that when a child is grown, it's done, but not knowing that the, the child, they still need parents. Even if they are old, they still need parents, they are guidance. We, we still need those kind of things. And you say that young people will relate with some of the events that happened in this book. Just take us through some of these events and how the youth can actually relate to them. 
Oh, I was raised by a single parent. So it's one of most things that uh, young people can relate with. And again, me trying by all means to study what I love, uh, following my passion, while they were not sure what is it. Uh, it's not that I went against their will, but because of it's something that I, I, I want. It's something that I, I really love. Uh, it's something that on my books, I, I talk about how to break those challenges where parents, they don't want to allow you studying what you want or to be what you want because of they're not sure or they don't understand. And again, talking about me being raised by a single parent, the challenges that me and my mom, we had and how we managed to overcome them and my relationship with my dad, how is it up to so far and me going to stay with my father and coming back from him because of our relationship was never meant to be. And those are the kind of challenges that I talk about in, uh, on my book as well. Yeah, and speaking of being raised by a single parent, I mean, the book talks to those who grew up without fathers and how they can overcome that stage of acceptance and the after effects of growing up without a father. Tell us more about this. On this one, it's, it's, it's a real challenge because of most young people in South Africa, they do grow without a father. Mm. Either. And with that, how we overcome that, we are having mentors. We see people, for me, uh, in my high school, I had a teacher, English teacher by the name of Mr. Okhatile. He was the one who was my father. He was the one who was guiding me, who was helping me. But uh, he helped me because of he went through the same thing. And now because of he had experience about how to overcome that. He shared his knowledge and he helped me to, to grow because of it's, it's, it's a shame, honestly speaking, because we need our father to guide us in this life that we are living. We need them uh, when we are entering a certain stage whereby we definitely need uh, fathers to, to, to guide us and to help us to navigate mm -hmm. this life. Even till now, as I am old, it's, it's a battle because of I'm still uh, fighting this of Yes, it's true. I'm living without a father. And it's a battle for me because of I still navigate my way. I'm still growing, honestly speaking. I, I, and I know I might, I'll need other challenges that I definitely need a father in my life. But true. because of the mentors, the people that are around me are the ones that are helping me. The, uh, as I said on my book, that God will never take everything away from you. Uh, he might take your father away, but he'll replace other men. Although they might not fill that uh, cup, uh, uh, but they are the people who will guide you and they will help you. Now, Elton, for those watching that are struggling to find their path towards their life's purpose, what advice do you have for them? Uh, honestly speaking, there's no one or anything that can help you except searching within yourself. Yeah. Uh, all answers are lied within yourself. Uh, yes. Your purpose, the reason why you are born, are within yourself. And sometimes you, you might never know that you love writing or you love singing. There it is. It's, it's, your, it's your purpose. It's the reason why you were born. You were born to sing. You were born to, 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 to craft. Uh, that's why uh, in the Bible it says that God art the world. And we as an artist, we are the creator. We are giving life to certain things that were never existing. So it's within yourself to find those kind of things. You, you might take it as if it's an art or it's a music, something likely, not knowing that it's your fortune. All right, Elton, great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, sir. And joining us via Zoom was author and music student Elton Sisi, and we're just in conversation with him about his insightful debut book titled What Am I Doing in This World? Follow the Excellence. All right, uh, in the first hour,